Good morning everyone, we're Nicole and Miko and in our last video we were enjoying the serene and peaceful island life of Langkawi, Malaysia. Since then we have made our way to picturesque Georgetown, Penang and in today's video we're going to be exploring the city to better understand why this is a must-see destination in Malaysia. So one of the most important things to learn about Georgetown here in Penang, and Penang is the state of Malaysia that we're in, is that Georgetown has a lot of history. It was one of the very first British was, settlements here? I think it was the first British settlement in Southeast Asia. Georgetown itself really became a, a very important trading hub here in Asia. So you have a lot of cultures coming in to uh, engage in the trading, mm -hmm. and the result is a a huge mix, mix. <laughs> yeah, of like British colonial architecture yeah. and Chinese temples yeah. and mosques. And right now we're just basically just kind of meandering through the streets of Georgetown because there are lots of nooks and crannies and lots of little hidden gems yeah. uh, in throughout these streets, yeah. especially the artwork. Like this, especially not yeah. so hidden gem. <laughs> wow, it's like a gem. <laughs> it it's is literally a gem. That, that, no. that, that's, that's a joke. <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> We are on Armenia Street and I think it's in this area that has all the best artwork. You know, it's funny, usually we're not like street art people, I would say. Yeah. It's like not something I really like seek out, but it's really well known here. Um, and we've like seen some photos online, like it's, it looks really cool. Yeah. And I think what's nice is like this whole community is just so interesting to walk through. There's really cool shopping, you get to see all the cultures intermixing. So I think for us, like coming and like kind of searching out the street art really makes sense because then you get to see like the whole community, which yeah. is just beautiful. It's, it's like an adventure and yeah. like a day to explore all yeah. kind of in one. <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense. <laughs> There's so much artwork here, and some of them are just really cool designs. Some of them show the history, um, but my personal favorite so far, <laughs> it's gotta be the Pikachu. And I think Nicole's favorite is this one. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty too. I really like this one. <laughs> <laughs> is this what I'm supposed to do? Do we look like we're together? <laughs> So we've seen a few different cat murals already today yeah. and uh, you know it's very interesting we've noticed about local like Malaysians. Um, people here in Malaysia really like their cats. Love cats man, there's they so love many them. cats here. Yeah, there's, we were actually at a park earlier today before we started the vlog, mm -hmm. literally just kind of playing with cats. Yeah. They were just roaming freely, obviously somebody feeds them. There was these signs that was like, like slow down, cats cat crossing <laughs> the road. I'm like wow, it reminds me a lot of Turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah very similar here, yeah. so it's, it's kind of fun. I love it. Super cool. So we've made our way to the clan jetties, which is like this part of Georgetown where there are different wooden stilt houses built on the shore. And uh, each of the like jetties for the of wooden stilt houses represent different families or different uh, clans. Two jetties, the one that we're on, it's the most popular one. Uh, it's the most tourist friendly one. And it's the one you can just kind of casually walk around, see what people are selling. Yes. Nico did all the research for this day. <laughs> so every time we go somewhere, I'm like, Where, what is this? I don't know. <laughs> I guess you can drive here. <laughs> I will say, it kind of stinks here. So, I don't know what the plumbing stitch is when you have houses over the water, but I definitely get a sewagey smell every once in a while. It just kind of wafts up through the boards. <laughs> Look how high the tide comes, eh? Wow. We've like added buckets of cement. I can literally see the bucket that was once filled with cement. The bucket is still there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> There's some very nice shopping on this jetty. Thank you. I'm buying stuff. <laughs> Got myself a new clippy. My hair's growing, I need a bigger one. <laughs> For lunch, we made it to a place called Hamidiyah. So this is a really popular stop here in Penang. Apparently, like the king of Malaysia normally eats here when he goes to Penang. Get an order of nasi 
a nasi kandar? Yes, yeah. yes. nasi kandar. We have the cheese bread, we have a white rice, and the biryani rice. Two types of rice. Okay. And we have the onion chicken, local chicken, lamb chicken, yeah. turkey chicken. Okay, I think we will do maybe biryani rice. Biryani rice. Yeah. yeah. Curry chicken. Uh, curry chicken. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you a question for our video? Sure, sure. What makes the nasi kandar so special in Penang? Nasi kandar born in Penang. Uh, Not in, uh, it was created here. It's created in, in Penang. Uh, and here, Ahamidaya is like the oldest, the oldest, the oldest store in all yes. in all the world. Yeah, you can see we have uh, got the uh, Malaysian Book of Record. Ah, that's great. That's the oldest nasi kandar. Oh, yes. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. That's very important. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know how well we captured that scene of us in the restaurant Man. because we just jumped in. All of a sudden, we were ordering. There was a ton of food in front of us, and then we started speaking to what looks to be like almost like the owner or a manager of the store. Yeah. And he was uh, like talking about how famous nasi kandar is, which is the dish that we're trying right now. It is a really popular dish uh, that you guess I guess you have to try if you visit Penang. Wow. And apparently, from this specific shop, which was the first shop to ever make it. It in all of Malaysia. He said you could get like any kind of like meat with it. We've got some beef and some chicken, and then like biryani style rice underneath oh, it. It looks so good. I'm just gonna watch the coli. I was gonna say, do you wanna try at the same time? Oh, oh. if you come to Malaysia, you have to get a hundred plus. This yeah. is like really, really popular. It's like an electrolyte drink, carbonated drink. Okay, here, there we go. Oh, it's spicy. Mm. That is so good. Oh, it's the kind of spice that tickles my ears. <laughs> but we asked for a spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe you can get it. If you don't want a spicy, you can get maybe less spicy. But it is like spices and flavor explosion. That is so good. The rice by itself, honestly, something to write home about. But oh my god. I love how we were able to pick different meats. So uh, we got a chicken and then like also a beef. He also put in like every kind of curry that was available there. He's like, do you want diff different kinds of curries? I'm like, sure. And then he just plowed them all in there. Guys, this is a must have mm -hmm. in Penang. This is so good. So is this. <laughs> So our next stop for today is the Blue Mansion. It's also known as the Chiang Fat Se House or Chiang Fat Se Mansion. He is the uh, super wealthy like billionaire back, back in the in, day, back in the day yeah. that uh, built this mansion. Oh, and the really real, the real reason we're here. Oh yeah, I don't want to <laughs> give it away. There's there's another really big reason why we're here. We bought tickets online already, and it's not, you can get like a, you can get brought around with like a person, like an in-person tour, but those were all sold out yesterday when we tried to book tickets. So we have, we're supposed to get like an audio guide, but where? I've just finished the audio tour, and I've gotta say, it actually gave me a lot less information than I thought, like it didn't really share that much information, but still really good to like get in and have access to the mansion, because otherwise you can't just like walk in here, you have to have like an appointment to get in here. But basically, the Coles notes are that Chung Fatsi, very, very wealthy man, he actually had seven wives, and it was his final wife who he like gave this house to, but when he died, he had in the will that his last son from that last wife would sort of take over the mansion. Um, after the generations, it really went into disarray, and was restored um, but like restored in beautiful detail and that's why like the mansion is just so beautiful today like the intricate artwork the railings the woodwork it's just it's absolutely stunning in here if you get a chance to do the actual tour I would highly recommend that I imagine that would be better and it's the exact same price as the audio guide but just remember to book ahead of time but let's be honest the real reason that we are here what's the real reason we're here babe <laughs> so the real reason we're here I can't show you here. We gotta go downstairs. What? <laughs> Let's go downstairs. You keep doing that. So we gotta go downstairs. Because normally this isn't exactly the kind of place that Nicole and I would put on our itinerary when viewing especially places. Him. No, yeah, especially me. I'm not really like <laughs> too big on like a ton of the history stuff. But the reason why I wanted to come here is because of this spot right here. Right, right where I am right now. Does this look familiar? So this spot is where a famous movie was filmed uh, and its movie is Crazy Rich Asians, which 
maybe you have guessed because this is the scene in Crazy Rich Asians where they film like um, uh, the Mahjong scene near the very end. It's like, if you've seen the movie, you know it's a very like iconic scene. It was really important in the movie. It's kind of like the climax of the whole movie. I've seen the movie and I do not remember the scene <laughs> at all. But when I heard that the scene was filmed here at the Blue Mansion, I just had to see it because I love seeing these movie things. So yeah, this is the spot. That is, those are the same blue plates that I saw in the movie and this big mirror and like over there, like that's where she gave like the mother a bad look as she walked away. <laughs> we gotta rewatch this movie. <laughs> I love that movie, it was great. Mm. It was good. We could, maybe we could recreate it right now. It'll just be crazy Asian, it'll just be me. Just you. to call it quits yesterday after the Blue Mansion because we are super hot and super tired so it's the next day and we have come to Gurney Hawker Center which is one of the more popular hawker centers here in Georgetown and we're gonna try and get our hands on, on some delicious Malaysian food. So I think we're a little early. <laughs> it's not quite nighttime at the night market but this is where we can come because we're going to a movie later so this is the time we have available to us to come and eat. Everyone's open I think. That's the thing with Malaysia we found is that it the sun sets here so late like I'm like looking for a night market. Usually yeah. we're looking for a night market, but you have to wait like until like seven or eight o'clock. No, like eight. Yeah. Yeah. It so get dark it gets like proper. Mid, like far into seven p.m. Yeah. Also, um, a hawker center. If you haven't seen our Singapore vlogs where we talk about hawker centers, it's basically just like street food or like street mm -hmm. stalls. Yeah. And um, a hawker All in center. Area. Yeah. It's like street food cafeteria style. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. Do you want some? Do you want some chicken butt? What? Do you want some chicken butt? <laughs> it's <says> chicken butt. <laughs> oh, so it does. No, no thank you. <laughs> it looks like normal chicken. <laughs> it's probably just like a translation. It's, it's the tail. It's probably just a translation yeah. error, but <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> I think we uh, spoke too soon and uh, underestimated this place because it is uh, a lot busier on this side of the yeah, night market. We were just in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of lots more uh, restaurants open here, and you can smell food everywhere. There are some places too that have uh, like lineups for for foods. There, we see some that we recognize. We did a big food tour in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. And um, I think uh, we're trying to find more foods that are specific to Penang, and I think we found a couple. Maybe. At least one. Alright baby, what did we get today? Okay, so I hope I'm gonna do this justice, okay? So this dish is called Char Kui Tiao. I think I'm saying that right. And it was actually uh, originates in China and it has been brought down and is now like synonymous with street food here in Penang. So it's flat rice noodles, they're quite thick. You see how thick those are? Bean sprouts, eggs, lots of different like sa sauces and spices yeah, that they threw in there. And then it typically comes with, as you can see, shrimp. I got mine with no shrimp because I don't like seafood. Apparently all the best versions of this are here in Penang. It smells so good. Mmm. Oh my god. The rice noodles like... I feel like them was like dissolved in your mouth. They're so soft. It's definitely got a kick to it. It's a little on the spicy side, but like like hardly. We actually got three to split between two of us. <laughs> they seem pretty tiny, so we might as well get a bunch more. So we got like three dishes, like all the, all the same thing. To be fair, they are small. <laughs> also, I gotta say, the guy who was like making them, man, it just looks so hot. I know, his I, arms were like glistening. Job of a street food maker here at the Hawker Center. It's hard. Especially with how hot Malaysia is, must be like insane. So kudos to them. 
All right, you guys, that is a wrap on our time in Georgetown. We have got a movie to catch. We hope you have enjoyed coming around Georgetown with us. If you like this video and want to see more videos just like it, make sure you hit subscribe and also give this button, <laughs> give, this, <laughs> give this video a like if you want to see more adventures of us around Malaysia. <laughs> Thanks for watching. It's art, I guess. That it speaks for itself. <laughs> it's actually pretty cute. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, look, it's a tree. Cool. <laughs> I don't think it's thirsty.